A Christchurch City councillor is calling for his local bridge to be urgently replaced. Glenn Livingston says the Pages Road bridge is earthquake damaged and is a vital lifeline to the suburb. Earthquake damaged and broken, this new Brighton bridge is only 20 to 30 per cent of the building code. Christchurch City Councillor Glenn Livingston says the Pages Road Bridge needs to be completely rebuilt before another earthquake hits and finishes it off. This is a top priority. It needs to be addressed. New Brighton resident Emma Payne approached her local city councillor after becoming fed up with the state of the bridge. I can't help but wonder what it's going to look like if there was another em emergency like an earthquake um, that compromised our bridge, what that's going to look like for me, my family, my street um, and my community. How are we going to get out and how are services going to be able to get in? Councillor Livingston wants the New Zealand Transport Agency to stump up more than $7 million to replace the bridge. The council will pay nearly $8 million or 52% of the cost. I drive over this bridge pretty much every day, sometimes more than twice a day as well, and you can't help but sort of question the, um, the soundness of the bridge. Um, you can see that it inclines where it's not meant to. You can't even walk on the footpath at the moment either. The NZTA wouldn't comment on the matter, instead referring all questions to the City Council. But in February last year, former Skirt General Manager Duncan Gibb told the press a new Pages Road bridge would be built, but work couldn't start before repairs to the Bridge Street Bridge were finished, and that work finished last month. A Skirt spokeswoman today told CTV News the bridge was originally going to be rebuilt, but following a decision made by Sarah, the NZTA and the Christchurch City Council last year, it will now be repaired. That work won't start until 2016. But Emma Payne says that's not good enough. The bridge being replaced is pretty important and it should be a top priority for central government to fund it for us as well. The 26-year-old is now leading the charge with a petition and online campaign. Trying to get as many signatures as I possibly can and get the community together to let government know that we really do need this bridge. It's not a want, it's definitely a need. But this isn't the only bridge needing serious repairs. Glenn says the work needs to happen sooner rather than later. It's not only the Pages Road Bridge, it's actually the Fitzgerald Ave bridges as well, which is severely uh, under strength. The community still has a chance to get the Pages Road Bridge rebuilt, but it won't be any time soon. A skirt spokeswoman told CTV News any longer term decisions about the bridge's future will be made once the future use of the nearby residential red zone is known. Marcus Gibbs, CTV News.